Hi everyone, Jaffe here, and welcome back to Around the World in Many Days. Today's episode is number 23, and it's titled Tetromino Jigsaw Madness. Let's see what we have this time. Uh, as always, reading the preamble first. Uh, dear Puzzling, uh, this puzzle is a, a crossword jigsaw hybrid. Uh, cover the white area of the grid. Uh, I'll show you the grid below here. So, white area here and gray area in the middle. Cover the white area of the grid with the given pieces, and then place additional letters into some squares of the central gray area, so that each row and column forms a word fitting the corresponding clue in the list. Some squares will be left empty, and the letters forming a word do not have to be in consecutive squares. There can be empty squares in the middle. Pieces must be used exactly as is, so flipping or rotating is not allowed. No piece can share an edge with another piece of the same type. L, I, T, S, and O. Colored for convenience. Uh, okay, so only one puzzle this time. I'll show you in just a bit in the editable grid how, how that exactly works. But let's read the rest of the preamble since we have just this one. So we can carry on with the actual puzzle. So today I have returned from a 10-day expedition on what used to be a scientific research vessel and currently serves as a passenger ship. Passenger ship. I have seen penguins, uh, humpback whales, leopard seals, and colonies of seabirds uh, nesting on snow-covered rocks. Can you guess where I am? Love Gladys. And the grid is here, and then we have some some clues below. But uh, I have a note. I have a notepad open in the corner, so we can look at the clues at the same time we're solving this so let's look at the editable grid and see what we are meant to do here okay so we have pieces to put into this white area and each uh, row and column has a word that it should uh, form here and we have regular crossword clues not cryptic this time that uh, we need to solve to figure out what those uh, what those words are going to be. And uh, these pieces cannot touch a piece of the same color in the grid. So you can't put these two together. So, and, and uh, after we put in the pieces, we must also put letters in some, some of these uh, gray cells as well. So let's look at the clues and see if there are some that we can we can solve immediately. So first across is skillful and quick. Four letters. Uh, might be multiple words that fit there. Let's look at imperial unit of area. Again, multiple units of area in, in the imperial system, but four letters. It's going to be acre. Uh, acre is the one that that has four letters, so we can actually write that in. And I'm going to remove the clue once we solve it, so we can, once we, when we input things in the grid, uh, that we can sort of just see the see the words that we're inputting. And we can already look at whether some of these are really restricted, A, C, R, and E, all very common letters. And A is uh, in a multiple different uh, pieces here, so we don't really know much about that. R as well, and in at least three. How about C? C is here. And this is the only C, actually. So wherever we put this acre here, and remember we can have spaces in between. It could be like A, C, E, uh, R, and E, something like this, as long as it spells out the word acre and these are all empty. Uh, but wherever we put the, the C in the grid, we're going to have an N. Uh, sorry, that was that wasn't the the second row. Let's say here, A, C, R, and E. Wherever we put the C here, we know that there's going to be an N here because this is the only piece that contains this C. So place on words four letter uh, four letters, and we already know that one of them is going to be an N. Well. So plays, that's a plural, so we need a three-letter word for a play in words, uh, which has an N. Well, that would be a pun. A pun is a play in words. 
So this would be puns then having this n. Obviously these are not the correct letters, so I shouldn't input those in the grid yet. Um, and now we can do the same thing with these uh, letters P, U, N, S. So P, uh, there's, there's a P here, there's another P here. This would work with the P, U, because it would give us these two letters. If this was another letter, if this was an A, this wouldn't work because it would, this doesn't have an A after the P. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff, but uh, since we can't, pr probably worth mentioning because it's in the rules that we can't uh, move these pieces around in that uh, we can't rotate them or turn them around or anything. They have to be put in, the, uh, in this orientation. So, so still a couple of ways to put the P in the grid. The U, I think we have more U's, one, two, three, four at least. N, well, we know N is going to be part of this piece, so we don't have to worry about the N. And S, I think there are multiple ways, multiple letters, um, multiple pieces that have the S. But actually not so many. This S can be um, part of our uh, puns. And the reason why it can be part of our puns is this E can be part of the A. Remember, if we put this S as part of puns, then we're going to have to put this E on the on the uh, row uh, on the row above it. But it works because Acre has an E. So this piece works. This piece with an S doesn't work because there's an, not an A in here. There's no A after the S there. But this S also works. So a couple of options um, for these puns. Um, let's continue with this, these across clues. So, um, fully satisfy four letters is going to be the word sate. To sate is to fully satisfy. Um, military off road vehicles. Um, I'm thinking whether this can be, uh, the answer is Humvees. I'm thinking whether there's another off-road vehicle that would fit here. I don't know a word like that, but might be a case of me knowing, not knowing enough words, but to me, this is Humvees. And obviously, obviously also the case of knowing the answer. Um, so it's uh, like, Makes it a bit tricky to test, so like test solve these when there might be another word that fits here, but you can't think of because you know what the correct answer is. But uh, in any way, I'm, I'm going to put this Humvees in anyway. And I remember starting from this five now, these don't all need to be uh, check letters. Um, no, these all need to be check letters. Uh, I'll come back to that later. What I me meant to say was these don't all need to be letters in the pieces. So this H uh, could be this one. Uh, or is there another H somewhere? It could be this piece, H, but it could also be inside this gray area where there are no pieces. So this could be a H as well. Oh, sorry, five. So here. And I'm now realizing this green is not a good color. I'm going to change this to. Is this better? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use blue here. Uh, so what I was saying is this could be H, and then we could be using this H, uh, the piece H for something else. It doesn't have to be this H here on these rows that have gray cells. OK, Humvees um, with more abundant vegetation. Um, So if something is with abundant vegetation, it is lush. And with, if it's with more abundant vegetation, it's lusher. That's six letters, and that's the answer there. Um, we didn't look at four, which pieces would fit this four. But this S, SAT, I think they're all very common. S, S, S. T can't be here, but it could be, can't be this, this T either, but it could be this T. Is that the only T? T being such a common letter, you wouldn't think that's immediately restrictable. Let's, let's see, this T 
could be this T. This S would then be this S from puns. And this E would be the E from acre. So it would work. This piece would work. And I think that's the only piece that works for this T shape. Uh, just keeping it in mind. We still don't know where it goes. Like it could be, since we haven't looked at these down clues, it could be anywhere. Uh, it's two, three, and four. Like it, it could be E, S, T, something like that. But it could easily be here as well. Puns fits there. Sate fits there. So we don't know that before we look at the look at the down clues. Um, I think we should write in all the on the all the across letters, all the across answers that we can, and then look at the down down answers. And once we get to the down answers, what I was trying to, um, what I thought about earlier, uh, when I mentioned that these can't be part of these uh, these pieces, and I said they can't be part of a checked can't be checked letters. What I meant to say about checked letters here, uh, in a crossword, a checked letter is a letter that is part of both an across and a down uh, answer. So in this crossword, every letter we, that we're going to put in are going to be checked. So if we put a J here, um, this three is going to contain that J, and it has to contain that J, and this seven has to contain that J. So these are all letters that um, that are checked, and that's going to help us narrow down some of the options options later. Um, seven is state bird of California, and this is still part of these uh, rows with ha which have these gray cells. State bird of California uh, is the California quail. Five letters, so that's very restrictive letter. Q, I think we have a piece with a Q. Here it is. So that's the only Q we can put there, and this fits with the lusher because it doesn't restrict the lusher in any way. It just gives us an, an empty cell in that row. But the Q could also be one of these gray cells. We don't, because quail does fit. Uh, does fit here, right? If I could spell it like that. So uh, it doesn't have to be here. But let's see, not urban, five letters, the opposite of urban would be rural. Spelling it correctly is like that, that's five letters. Also, possibility of putting those in, in gray. Uh, the nine is going to be fully checked, uh, fully, sorry, not fully checked. These are all fully checked. Nine is going to be fully made out of these pieces again, so that's more restrictive than than these middle ones. Sprinter bolt is going to be Usain. Maybe there are other sprinters named Bolt, but this is definitely the number one answer. Um, so Usain, we can look at how many U's we have. This U doesn't work because the R can't be part of Usain. This U does work. This U doesn't. So it's uh, this P is in the wrong place. And there are no other U's. So this has to be the U from Usain. And this R works for rural. It could be either of these. Um, mm, let's see. Bodily fluid produced in the liver is going to be bile for letters. Then we have. Um, do we have B's? B here. We have one B, so that's going to be bile, the B of bile, and the next answer is going to contain a P. So companion animals. Uh, by the way, even though bile, th this B is the first letter of bile, that, that doesn't mean that this P has to be at the, at the start or near the start of the next word. Uh, like it, we could very easily be, if bile is on, on the 10th row, we could have something like this. And then the P, which would be here, could be something like, I don't know, strip. It could, this could still be the last letter because we have so many empties here. 
but that said, it does have to contain a pee. So companion animals, four letters, containing a pee somewhere, it's going to be pets, right? Pets. And uh, and the pee has to come from, from this one, because we know the B from bile has to come from this, uh, this piece. Multiple elongated fish. Now, an elongated fish, uh, one type of it is eel, which is a very common uh, crossword answer, because those are very useful letters. And multiple of them are eels, plural. So I'm going to put eels here. And again, we can look at the letters, but I don't think we can get much of much of it because we have multiple L's and many L's, actually. We have many E's. I mean, even this piece will work. E, E, all this. Actually, this E doesn't work because there's no two E's in pets. But this E, E would work, work for E's. And the S, uh, we looked at S previously. There are multiple ways an S can work. Having said that, no, there isn't. This SA doesn't work. This SL doesn't work because there's no row 13. This S doesn't work because there's no row below. This is the only is is the only one. So eels is going to be using this one. But um, I mean, even knowing that, we still can't put any of these pieces in the grid. But we have some answers now, and now we can look at um, look at uh, these down answers. So Disney chipmunk, four letters. There are two possible answers here. Uh, one is chip and one is Dale. But now that we have these, um, uh, these um, all the across, almost all the across answers, well, we know this one down is going to be composed of first letters of these answers. So we can look at uh, whether chip and Dale can work here. Well, this can be either one. We don't know that yet. But if it's C, we H. But we don't have an I here, so chip can't be part of the uh, chip can't be the answer here. So it must be Dale. And uh, what do we have? E here. Is that the only E? That is the only E here. So E has to go here. This E has to be checked, and this is the only E that it can be checked with. P is not part of Dale, so we can immediately mark this as empty. B is not part of Dale. U is not part of Dale. R, Q, both not part of Dale. Now this L could be part of Dale, and there is no other L here, so that's going to be L. Uh, H is not part of it. S is not part of it. P is not part of it. So D and A are going to be in the first and second row. So skillful and quick, uh, which uh, we didn't solve yet because it might have multiple uh, options. Now we know it starts with a D. And four letters, skillful and quick, it's deft. I just left it, left it out as an example that you don't have to, don't, don't necessarily have to solve these, all of these cold. Many of them you do, but you can get some help from the grid. And I, it gets easier once you have some letters in the grid. So, for example, we, we're going to look at these uh, down answers in a bit, but let's look at these letters that we do have. Especially the corners are going to be a bit limited, right? So, what piece could this E be part of? Can't be part of this. Uh, where, where do we have an E in the corner? That's in the corner, but that would have an I here. That would go here. It's out the, outside the grid. Can't do that. And the other option, the only option, is this piece. This piece is the only option where you can put an E where this is in the corner. So in fact, we already know, and that fits these because these are empty, and they have to be in order to fit this piece. So we can actually put, let me mark this with these same colors. So E is already here, marked with this uh, we know which piece it is. And since we've used this piece, I'm going to mark the, those somehow also. So we know that not to use them again, basically. And now we all already know uh, something about, for example, this. It can't be, can't be this empty piece, uh, empty cell, and it can't be this empty cell, because 
uh, a red can't go next to another red. What about this corner here, D? Does that, that help us? Where do we have a D that could be in the corner? Uh, did we have multiple Ds? Wait a minute, we have only one D and that is this piece. So we know this D is part of that piece. And that also gives us, once we fill that in, also gives us some letters. So we know this is empty, we know this is empty, and we know this is the E from deft. And three, we know already that this three down starts with an E, which is going to be useful. Uh, should we look at three down now? Since we know it starts with an E, it's going to be easier than this two, right? So five letters starts with an E. Provide weapons slash tools slash etc two. You provide weapons to someone, you arm them. Or, or there's a word in arm which is five letters, but that's not really provide tools to someone. So something that could mean both is equip. You equip someone. And that is the answer here. And now since we have a Q, and remember all letters must be checked with an across answer, there aren't many Qs in the across answers. In fact, only one. So we know the Q in equip has to go on row seven, uh, on column seven, in row three. Sorry. Ah, uh, let's try again. On row seven. No. Yeah. On. On row seven in column three. This is harder than I thought. Row se row seven column three. Yeah. Uh, so you can think of them. Think of them as coordinates, right? Seven and three. So the Q has to be here. And since that's the second letter of equip, we know all of these are empty. Since that's the first letter of quail, we already know, also know that this is empty. And now remember, we only have one, uh, one piece that has the Q, and that is the, this piece here. So even though it's in the middle, it's not in the corner or something like that, we already know where this piece is placed, because there is no other piece that contains this queue. So I'm going to mark that piece here. And that also gives us this being empty, this being empty. And uh, should we look at the rest of equip? We can look at it because we have all these uh, cross answers. So some of these are going to be impossible letters. So we need a U. The ne le next letter is U. Can it be in rural? It can. Can it be in Usain? It can. Then we have an I, which can't be in Usain. Even, even if this is U, it can't be part of Usain because there's no way to put U, S, and A in a single cell. So this can't be the, the I. This could be the I from Bile. And then these don't have the I. So I is only possible here. And since that is the eye of bile, we already know that this has to be a B. Which gives us a letter for, for two down, by the way. But we'll look at that after, after this three. So one of these is U, we don't know which. This is I, and one of these has to be P. So this has a P, but eels doesn't. So that's empty, and the P is here. And since this is the first letter of pets, uh, this is empty. And by the way, now that we have the B, remember we knew which um, which piece this B uh, belonged to, and that is this B here, and that would have given us the P anyway, even if if we didn't know it from the from the checking letters. But this is going to be the piece that we need, and that means this is empty. Okay, but we can't solve this U yet because both of these options are still valid. It could be uh, the U from Rural, which would mean this is an R, or it could be the U from Usain, which would mean this is empty. So let's um, let's look at two down then. We know it ends in a B. It's a pretty useful ending letter, right? Five letters, small woody plant. So 
a shrub is a small woody plant and that ends in B and is five letters. That's going to be our answer here. And that's almost certainly going to be solved here if we look at the checking letter. So we need an S. Well, these are all going to be first letters, by the way. It can't be this P, so that's empty. Could be this S from SAIT. S H R U, and that's actually only for available cells for four letters. So we already know shrub is going to be spelled out like this, but we should check that these are still possible to just to see that we are not. We haven't made an error somewhere. So SAIT starts with an S, Humvee starts with an H, R, uh, R for rural, and U for Usain, all work. And uh, now, since the U for Usain is used, this can't be another U, so that's empty, and the U for equip has to be here. All right, should we look at some pieces? that these letters can belong to, especially this H should be pretty restricted, right? So how many H's do we have? This is a H and that works with this L as well. Is that the only H we have? I think it is. So that has to be the piece. Um, so HL is here. We knew these were empty anyway, but I, I should also mark the used pieces. So this was used, the BP was used that I forgot to mark, and the DNE was used, which was here. I think that's all the used pieces. Ah, oh, no, the Q, the Q piece is also used. Have to be careful not to put the same piece in the grid twice. And now uh, there's another type of deduction that we can make here, uh, which is looking at uh, since. All of these white cells have to be uh, part of a piece. We can look at what pieces a certain cell could be a part of. So, for example, this A it has to be part of a tetromino. So it goes here, forced. This is forced. It could go down uh, for an, an S tetromino here, or it could go all the way here for an L tetromino. And like there are, it's very unlikely that we are going to have both of those available. So let's see, this A and S is available, but there is no L tetromino that has the A, and that, that has the A. So that we can already fill in as this piece here. And we can mark that piece as used. Now the same is true of this, this empty cell here. It has to continue this way and this way. And now it's either an S tetromino here, or an L here. Well, there's no L piece with the R and the U. These are all the L pieces we have. So this is going to be part of an S piece and that is this one here. Mark that one and mark that piece as used. We can continue this. So for example, this U in the corner. So how many U's do we have which are in the corner? Uh, can't be this. That's not in the corner. It can be this. Um, so let's see. It could be this U and then we would need an R here and empty, empty. Well, that works because this is going to be rural. So this is the only piece that fits this cell. So we can mark that, that as well. U, R, we mark this piece as used and we mark this as empty. Uh, what else? This I has to get out of here and it can continue either down or uh, or to the right. So that's going to be pretty restricted again. So it's going to be, it can't be this I, even though that continues to the right, but we can't continue up up from here because that is part of this, this O piece here. So it's not this I, it could be this I that continues there and makes an S piece here and it can't be part of anything else. So this S piece has to go here. So we know that these are ET and that's empty. And that works because pets contains all of these letters. So I, E and T all done. And we mark this piece 
as used. Now this empty cell here has to continue here. So it has to make a, uh, an either terminal here, con four, four cells to the right. And now we have, um, well, it can't be this piece because this S is not empty. It doesn't fit here. It can be this A or this E, but that should be, well, we know this is empty and this is empty. We know this is A or E, but we have to solve the, this four, uh, four down before we can, we can solve that. But we can already mark this as an eyepiece. Now that said, uh, we should probably solve this four down because I want to mark one of them as, as black, so I don't forget about it. So creamy paste of e.g. tomatoes. So creamy paste of, for example, tomatoes. Now it's going to be ending in R-E-E -E or R-E-A, one of these five letters. And the answer is going to be puree. So the E is correct here. And the, by the way, I was just being slow, not putting this E here immediately, because we know A can't be part of this eels anyway. So I could have just uh, marked that as, as used anyway, uh, without solving this, this four down, but we were going to have to solve four down anyway, at some point. So let's see, uh, where do we go next? Should we look at the... Um, so this is puree. Let's look at the check letters for puree. So, oops, what tool am I using here? Oh, here we are. So this is going to be deft. So that's the P, um, just look at the first letter P here. Can't be the deft, can't be in deft, can't be in acre. No, it could be in puns. Can't be in seit, can't be in humvees. And uh, this doesn't fit anyway. And it can't be here. So P is the... This doesn't fit, meaning that even if we put the P here, there's not, not enough room for the other letters. So P is going to be here, and then the U is going to be not part of Sate. That doesn't have a U. Could be part of Humvees or Lasha. The second letter of both of these is going to be U, and it could be either one of these. So we don't know where it goes, but we know uh, it's one of the, one or the other. Uh, we can also look at this P, see what a piece it could be part of. So P is here, and that's the only piece. So that immediately tells us where we need to put it. So P, and that gives us a U here, an empty here, and an empty here. And we can mark that before we go forget, because I absolutely will forget about it later. We'll mark it as, uh, as used. Now, should we look at Maybe we can disambi you know, disambiguate this U, by the way, with the, with the empty cell in the corner. Right? Let's see how restricted that is. Empty cell in the corner. Can't be this, because this would be E. Could be this uh, empty one. Could be this. Um, sorry, can't be this empty one, because that would put empties in, in both of these, and then this would be pre, without the U. But this would work. This would put empties here as they are, empty here, and then U here for Humvees and Puree. So that would work. This is this is an empty cell in the corner that does work. How about this one? Uh, this empty cell, uh, this can't be an S because this is not allowed to be a piece. Can't be this for the same reason. And can't be these eyes for the same reason. They would go over here. And can't be these for the same reason. So the only option for for this cell is actually this this uh, O piece here. And by O piece, I mean the the shape of it is the the O. This is the L, I, T, S, and O. That's the name of the the tetrominoes. So that's the uh, the O piece here, and we can fill in the U and the empty one here. And again, remember to mark this as used. Here we are. So all of these uh, columns are already done. Let's look at, should we look at, like there are, there are a couple of approaches here. We could look at this, 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 because we know 
something about these. Also, one option is to use the use the last letters of these and try to fix uh, fit in the the twelve and then start from these corners. Flip a coin. Uh, let's do the let's do it from from this end. Let's try. So we have twelve down. If we can solve that, we can use the the last letters of the clues to to check. Uh, to restrict this letter, uh, this letter. So, Durbaville's protagonist, four letters. Um, well, that's a book, Tess of Durbaville. So, Tess is our answer here. And now, looking at so T E S S, looking at these answers. So, T could be here, E could be here, S could be here. E could be here, S could be here, R can't be here. So R is the only uh, the the first letter that uh, isn't available for us. So it's not as restricted as I thought it might be. L L, neither of those L's can be part of Tess. N can't be part of Tess, but E S S again can be can be part of the word Tess. But now we realize that T is the only option for the T is the first first row. There are no other words ending in T. So we do get T. We don't get E. It could be here and then S S anywhere. Or it could be here and then S S here. Or it could be even E and then S S here. So not as restrictive as maybe I hoped, but we have a T in the corner and that that should give us something. So T in the corner could be here. This F is valid for deft. We still don't have an F for deft. So that's an option, this L piece. And another T in the corner. Do we have any? This T doesn't work. That's not on the first. Uh, I mean, we don't have letters here. And there are no other T's available. So this is going to be the piece with this T here. And that gives us an F, an empty, and an empty. Now that also gives us, and this is a good place to continue, uh, that 11 down starts with an F. And 11 down is plant which has bird's nest, basket, and silver varieties. Uh, four letters, it's going to be fern. There's bird's nest fern, basket fern, and silver fern. Now, how restricted is fern here? F is going to be here, we know that. E can be here, that's the last letter of acre. Puns doesn't have C, R, O, E, so that's going to be empty. Sait, uh, this E can be part of fan. This E, remember this doesn't have to be the last letter of Humby, so it could be the second, uh, second last, so this could be part of fan still. Lusher, this can be part of Fern. Now these all have to be last letters because we know these are empty. So Lusher, this can't be part. No, sorry, Lusher, this can absolutely be part of Fern, but this L and L cannot. There's no L in Fern. Now Usain with this N, this can be part of Fern with N here, and E can be part of Fern, but it can't for another reason. Let's go back, come back to that later. But this, these are either T or S, that's not in Fern, and L and S, also not part of Fern. And now we, we see why E can't be in Fern, because we can't fit the R and the N anyway. And obviously the R, L doesn't work either. So did we get any letters for Fern? I think N is the only, this 9 is the only place where the N can go. 6 can't have N, this doesn't have N, this doesn't have N. and Yeah, I think I I read that wrong, saying that puns doesn't have any any letters in fern. It does. N N is the, N is a, uh, N is a sort of a shared letter, but it's too soon. Like you can't fit the E and R here, so that's why this pun is puns is correctly empty. Even though I maybe may have may have misread that, but N is the the nine is the only place the the N can go, and the E and the R. I think both have options. E can be here for this acre, can be E for this humbees, 
and the R can be from Russia, which is six, or from, can't be from Said, can't be from Humvees, Humvees, and can't be from Acre because this is the last letter. So R actually has to be from Russia, from here. Now, can we limit what pieces these are? The R could be from here. These would be empty and that's still available. The R could be here, be making this. Oh, and that's, those are the only two options. So in both of those options, we don't know which one it is, but we know there's an empty about the R. So that's empty. So the E for Fern is going to be from two acre or four set. Now, what about this N? Do Can we tell something about this N? It could be this piece, these four forming this O piece. Can't be this N because that is not a C and no other Ns are available. So in fact, we know this piece and that is this one here. Yeah, mark that as used. Now let's see what else. Um, we already see that we're going to be needing at least two letters from quail. At least UA, because there's only two, uh, two letters available for quail. Um, but let's continue. It's not really, not really restricted in any way, this 10. Maybe, we, maybe it's uh, more useful to continue from this side, actually. Because we, we don't know a whole lot about 10. So let's do 5 down, then. 5 down, we know it ends, when, ends in T. And... Yeah, I think I've written something wrong here. Because I think this should be need. And now this ends in T. Let's look at what this piece was. That's this piece, right? May have written it in the grid incorrectly. Now that is ET from PET. I empty ET. This is five down, necessity. Okay, yeah, now I get it, now I get it. It's not need, yeah. I was thinking of another word. But uh, uh, yeah, the correct word for this is must. A must is a necessity. Okay, now it makes more sense. So let's mark this again as, as used. Confused myself there. And by the way, if you're thinking like, how does he not remember what he what is what is done? This was actually the first puzzle I made for this series. That was in August 22, so that's like 10 months ago. It's been pretty long time. It was a pretty long time before it was it got out, and it's an even longer time to to making this video. So this is a pretty old puzzle, actually. Anyway, uh, five was must. We figured it out in the end. And uh, how can we uh, limit that? Actually, deft we already have all the letters for, so we can mark all of these as empty. Where does the M go? Four is uh, four across is eight. It doesn't have an M. Humvees does have an M, so it could be here. Lusher doesn't have an M, but this could be the U for must. Must so this could and the quail could also have the U here. Uh, rural, the next letter is going to be A, and that's not in must, so we can empty that out. Usain, it's going to be S. It's going to be S. Uh, that's still possible. And then for, for Bile, the next letter is going to be L, and that is not in must, so we can empty that out. Now, this S is the only place where the S can go. Can't be here, QS, LS, these are not ways that English words start. So S, and the only place for the S is here. And the U can be either here or here, 
and the M can only be here. So we only have uh, already have a, um, a letter in the in the central box, and we also have a couple of empties in the. Uh, sorry, no, no, we don't. We miss. Uh, I was. I thought we had all the letters for must, but in fact we need a U here, so we don't have don't have those empties yet. Uh, let's look at, and we can't uh, use this M to like limit it with a piece because these are not piece. Uh, pieces don't go in this in, in this gray box. Very important. Now there are a whole a whole lot of empties. I mean, there's going to be an some kind of piece full of empties here. And uh, let's see what the options are. This is an option. It could be here. But even if this L piece is is here, it's going to need another tetromino full of empties to get out of this. Do we have an S piece full of empties? We do. What about this L here? That could be here. But then we would need an other L piece and that doesn't work. Like let me just color that in. Like if we if we use this, which is wrong, I'll show you why it's wrong. We use this piece because it fits here, you'd think, but then we look at uh, where this piece is going, uh, where this cell is going. It has to go down and to the right. And first of all, there is no piece here which fits. And even if there were, we would be putting two L pieces next to each, next to each other. Uh, so all that said, this piece cannot go here. It cannot be part of this snake that that's full of these empties. So the only sort of snake pieces that we have is this L and this S. Obviously, this O can't fit anywhere here. I mean, you can try, but you cannot fit. There is no two, two by two of empties here available. So we already know that it's going to be this S and this L here. So the L goes here, and the, the yellow S goes here, and we mark those both out. Did we mark this I and ET back out? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we didn't leave it in by accident. Okay, how about this piece here? Now this cell, I should say. Oh, actually, we don't know six down, so we should solve that first. Um, so customary, five letters, has a U in it, is the word usual. And that starts with a U, so this is empty. This can't be the second U with just one letter available here. So the second letter is going to be S, which can't be part of four, four across eight, can't be part of Humvees, could be part of Lasha with the U here, can't be part of Quail, but now I'm thinking, can, could it be part of Quail with the A here? Let's just type that in. So that would mean, no, uh, usual, we need, we need another U here. U, S, okay, QL would work, then the U would be here. That would work, actually. So could be part of this. This A could be part of usual. You saying this A could be part of usual. Bile, this L could be part of usual. Pets, now usual doesn't end in S, and there's no other letters here so this is not part of usual now was this the the only place where the l could go can't go here that's an a can't go here that's an a can't go he here can't go here so l can only go here so that's the l from bile and the a still has a couple of options and the u a couple of options this s looks very limited because we have an l next to it and it's in the corner. So let's look at what piece that could, could be part of. Can't be part of these O pieces. Don't have an O piece with an S and an L. Can't be part of this because there's no T here. Can't be part of this because we don't have a cell here. Could be part of this SA. If this is A, then this is part of usual and this is part of Usain. Both of those work. And we would still have a couple of uh, cells left with this I for you saying. So this piece, I piece does work. This doesn't because we don't have cells here. This S doesn't, uh, the cell piece doesn't work because it would clash with another piece. So this SA is the only, uh, only option for us. 
So SA, that gives us an A here. Empty, empty. We mark this before we forget, because we will forget. And now, usual, this can't be another A, so that's empty. And now this is has only two letters left, so that's going to be the S and the U here. Quail doesn't have anything in between, but Lusher does, so U here. And must is now solved. Lusher uh, solved up to the U, uh, up to the S, and Quail solved up to the up to the U here. What about this empty cell now? So it has to go right and either right or down or both. So let's see. No empty cells that fit here. This could be it because it's an L, and that's the only piece that can fit there. So this is the this is the piece that goes there, and it has to be this T piece then, and that means that's empty. And we should mark it as always. Okay, now then, what about seven down? So type of battle. For example, Jutland and Midway. So those were naval battles, pretty famous ones. So uh, that is going to be our five letter answer, naval, a type of battle. And um, let's see, so naval, how does that work with our checking answers here? Two across this acre, so the next letter would be C, that is not in naval. Puns would have N here, that is part of naval, so that would work. Say it has an A here, that would work with NA. Humvees has a V here, so that would work with the V here. Lusher is not, the H is not part of naval. The A could be part of, from quail could be part of naval. The A from rural could be part of naval. Pets, this S is not part of naval, and L, uh, this L could be part of naval from eels. Now, the L, the only option for L is here from eels. It's not a rural with an A. This can be A, A, H, V. So no L available except from here. And also no V available. That, this is not a V, this is not a V, this is not a V. So the only V option is the V from Humvees. Now, since we have the V for naval, we only have two letters here, so that's going to be NA, and then A is going to be, it's not from Lusher, but it could fit from Quail or from Rural. Uh, let's, so two options for the A. Let's look at eight down then. Uh, should we actually look at some of these pieces? Maybe that's that should help us a little bit. Like this piece goes right, meets an A. So let's see, it could be part of this I. In fact, we only have one piece with an A available. So it's going to be this A piece, uh, this I piece with an A, I should say. So there we are. We got two empties here. Not all that useful for these letters, uh, for these answers, but let's see. What about this N in this corner? Now it's not in the corner of the grid, like it could go here, but let's see how many Ns we have in the first place. This could be this N. Oh, and remember, we figured out that this has to be part of, this N has to be part of this because the the, the C from Acre needs this specific, uh, this specific piece. So in fact, we already know this is an O piece like this. We marked this, that as used, and also we didn't mark that. And now we can see there's only one way we can put a piece there, and that's this one. Okay, still didn't... Um, it gave us actually a starting letter for eight, so it did did help us quite a bit. Superfood uh, seed, starting with C, four letters. That's going to be Chia. If you know your health crazies, Chia is a superfood seed. So H can't be here. Could be here. Uh, the next letter would be I. This could still be I. Quail. The A would be here. I would be here. That would work. 
The A could be here from rural. The E from bile can't be part of it. The S from pets can't be part of it. And the S from E's, eels can't be part of it. So Chia, we have three letters and we need three letters. So let's actually just Chia like this. Now we need an A for quail. That's going to be here. And navel is done, so this is empty. And rural needs an L in one of these. Okay, can we look at what this L is doing? So this L in the corner needs to be part of a piece. It can't be part of this, this one. And the reason is that would put an L here. First of all, that's empty. And second of all, it can't be part of pets. So it's not this piece. The only other option is this L piece. So that would put a piece here. And that would put an empty here and an S here. And that completes pets. We can mark these as empty. Now, what about, do we know, uh, do we know where the S for eels go? We don't know because we don't know the answer is 10. Okay. Um, but this piece is already solved. It's going to be an S piece. And there's only one S piece in, uh, like in that orientation available. So that's going to be this one. And we mark that as done. And the E is going to be here, which is useful because we are we have yet to solve this nine down and we have E and S already. So bile is done. We can mark these as empty. Let's look at nine down then. Depends on something depends on something. Uh, banks on is five letters, banks, but uh, this is a relies, relies on something. That is six letters. And that should be very doable with these checking letters. So the R from acre can be here. The S from puns can't be. The E from Humvees can still be here. If this is an R, this can be the E. This can be the E from Lasha. The L from Quail can still be here. The L from Rural can still be here. And the I from Usain is the only I available. So we can feed, fill in this I. And then the, the L would be one of these. The E would be one of these. But the R only option is here. So Relies couldn't complete it all, all the way but I mean this looks very very restricted this part which has the the empty and the R below it so it should be this one is there any other option there is another option actually this one or this one both have an empty here but we don't know which uh, which part we need for this one neither uh, this uh, these uh, cells don't touch a green or a yellow piece so Somehow we still have a couple of options. Uh, that said, let's look at. I think we can still figure it out. So if it's an S, ah, oh, this this leaves an, an, uh, an isolated cell here. We can't put it. Then this can't be part of a, a tetrominosa. In fact, we can't do that. That was an, a new way of finding out. We can't do it. So it's actually this R here. We mark that as used. Yeah, because we couldn't have used the, the remaining empty cell for anything. That's why it couldn't have been this S, this S shape here. Let's look at, and now that took one of our R options for this one. This, oops, sorry. This R here now can only be part of this shape. There's, there are no other R's available. So we know that this S shape is used for this R. And we can mark that as done. Now then, um, the word acre um, only has one cell left. That has to be the E. So fern is now finished. Now sate only has two cells. We need two cells, uh, two more letters. So they, th those must be here. And now puns. Can't be this S here. 
yeah, once we know this is empty, we know this is not an S. So the S from Pans goes here. And now Tess only has two cells. Look at all these empties here in the middle. So Tess only has two cells, so that's the, the S and that's an S. And Humvees, we need both of these to be E to complete the Humvees. And Eels is done, so this is an empty. Usain is done, so this is empty. Rural still has an L somewhere. Quail still has an L somewhere. And uh, Lasha still has an E somewhere. But um, now realize this can't be the, the L here. So in fact, E can only be here for Lasha. And then the quail is one, one or the other here. Now this 10 down, which is our last clue, is going to be very easy. Now it starts with the STEE, -E, and then we need one more letter to make a metal alloy. Now a thousand point question, what is that? Well, it's not steer, it's going to be steel, which is a metal alloy. So this L could still be either of these. We could have an L like this. Realize, quail, rural, steel, possible. But we could also have it like this. Mm, okay, I accidentally found out it was correct. Sorry about that. Uh, so one way of doing it is this. Quail, rural, realize, steel. Yeah, I forgot that we had a, uh, the answer check there. Didn't mean to do that. But uh, that is obviously not how you, how you check whether it's correct. You use these pieces. So let's see. This E, where does it go? Has to be part of this, right? Can't be part of this, can't be part of this. So EST, all part of this S piece here. Mark that as done. Now, this is already sold. We, we can only fit a, a T piece there. And that is this T piece here. Mark that as gone. Now we have um, these E's. Uh, there are no other E pieces, uh, pieces with an E. So it's going to be this piece, this blue one. Mark that as done. Then we have this S, it can't be part of this, so it has to be part of this. Here we are, mark this is done. Um, this empty corner piece, can't be part of this, can't be part of this, can't be part of either of this, it has to be the, the blue one here. Mark that as done. This I, only option, only one I left, so it's going to be this one here. Mark that as done, and now suspiciously we have three L pieces left, so we haven't marked something. This FT was used there, so I knew we'd forget something, as in I would forget something. You did nothing wrong, don't worry. This was used here, so the L piece is the only only remaining one, and using that L piece we can now disambiguate between these options. So it's going to be L and L. Uh, another message. Wow. How many are we going to get today? So this is the correct grid now. And for completeness sake, I'm going to mark this because otherwise it'll bother me. Uh, so yeah, here we have the completed grid. All the pieces are in, and uh, we can just check that these are correct. Deft, Acre, Pans, Sate, Humvees, Lasha, Quail, Rural, Usain, Bile, Pets, Eels, and in the columns we have Dale, Shrub, Equip, uh, Puree, Must, Usual, Naval, Chia, Relies, Steel, Fern, and Tess. So those are all correct. And now we can read in, uh, in the central box, we can read the answer actually. And we were looking for a passenger ship that used to be a research ves vessel. So MV, US, HU, AIA, MV, Ushuaia. And that is the name of a ship. And we're going to look at where that goes next. So let's see. MV Ushuaia. It's, Wikipedia has it under a different name, but it's MV Ushuaia. And it's a passenger ship that goes from Argentina to Antarctica. And we have a. Uh, an example trip here 
uh, I think this is a bit longer than, than 10 days, but starts from Ushuaia, Argentina, goes to the South Shetland Islands, close to the uh, Antarctic, and then it goes to the Antarctic Peninsula, which is part of the, the Antarctic continent, and then goes back here. And we can look at it from uh, Gladys' map as well, uh, the Gladys' journey so far. So last time we were in Sao Paulo, pretty far away, we're going all the way back to the very tip of South America. This is Ushuaia. I think the southernmost uh, town in uh, in South America. And from here we're taking a, a trip to these islands and then to the Antarctic Peninsula. And that's obviously Antarctica over there. And then back here. So I make, marked it as a couple of different locations in the map so we can see that it was it was actually a a longer trip, much like here we had the the sh the passenger ferry here. We marked it as two different locations. So this is Gladys's trip so far. Pretty long distance covered from Lisbon to Sao Paulo and to the uh, to Antarctica. Um, and uh, and there's a reason for that. But I'm going to once we're somewhere here, I'm going to reveal what that is. Um, so yeah, that is. Gladys is trip so far. Uh, and by the way, you can look at this map anytime. It's jaffy.travelmap.net. It is public. It's not uh, shouldn't uh, shouldn't spoil much if you even if you've just watched the videos. So uh, that is episode twenty three. How you would solve uh, Tetromino Jigsaw Madness. And episode twenty four will be called. Do I remember it? Is it changing landscape? Let's just look it up. Changing landscape. Yeah, so that's um, looking here. Every every puzzle has a has a link to the the next one, or at least the name of the next one, if the if it hasn't come out yet. So changing landscape is going to be uh, a double crossword. We have a um, cryptic crossword and then a standard crossword in the same grid. So. I will be seeing you for that next time, and for this one, thanks for watching.